Cedar Rapids, Des Moines, or Iowa City, you'll <laughs> like the next few seconds that you see. If you're in Champaign, Urbana, Peoria, Decatur, or Springfield, you won't. Here it is, the last six seconds. Rob Jetson got the shot up there, didn't drop. Ball was tapped back to Bontemps. His shot no good. In fact, there was even a third shot. I don't know it would have counted. I think it was all over by then. Neither shot was really close, Dave. And Iowa comes away with a hard-earned 72-71 Big Ten Conference opening victory. So Iowa with 10 straight victories to start their season. And they win this Big Ten opener. We'll be back to set the scoring for you in just a few moments. The following 60 seconds is brought to you by your state hunter safety. Two points, Smith with 12 over on the Iowa side. Kevin Boyle with 21 points. You can't say enough for that Hawkeye team out there playing without Ronnie Lester. He played super ball, so did the freshman. Gannon had 13, Crafts isn't 10, Brookens 10. Those are the double digit scores for the Hawkeyes who win it tonight. And that wraps it up from the University of Illinois Assembly Hall in Champaign where the final score again in a game that went right down to the last seconds when the Illini missed two shots in the final six seconds. Iowa 72, Illinois 71. For our viewers in WCIA, we'll be back next Thursday at 6.30 p.m. with the Illinois-Purdue game from West Lafayette, Indiana. This is Dave Shaw with Dan Rohn. We'll see you next week. Much tighter than that one tonight. You know there were three one-point games in the Big Ten tonight. It's going to be a heck of a conference race. The Iowa Hawkeyes were involved in one of them. The Hawkeyes got number one tonight, even though they had to hold their breath for the last six seconds and watch Illinois throw up two baskets, which could have changed all that. But Iowa ended up winning 72-71 to in a game seen here on TV9. Midway in the first half, the Hawkeyes reeled off 10 straight points. The last two scored on this break by Boyle, who had 21, and the Hawks led it at halftime 33-29. After intermission, Iowa knocked down five more unanswered points. Vince Brookins got two right there. The Hawks held a six to eight point lead most of the time, thanks to nifty plays like that one. Shooting by Eddie Johnson kept Illinois in the ball game. Freshman Mark Gannon in his second start turned in a good steady performance tonight. But with 43 seconds to go, the complexion changed. Perry Rain stole the ball and cut Iowa's lead to one point. It was still a one point game when Steve Crafterson went to the line with 15 seconds to go. He misses. Illinois gets the bound. They go down, but Craftsison blocks the shot at the other end. Watch the defense. And that left only six seconds to go. For the final six seconds, this place is up for grabs. It's crowded on its feet. Here we go. Tight zone. Here's Jetson. Puts up the shot. It doesn't drop. He has a bug hit. Puts it up. No good. And that's the ball game. The run on this two shot. And Iowa wins it 72 71. Iowa State had a much easier time beating. Still got away with one tonight. A big, big win. In fact, uh, big wins for uh, Iowa State and Drake as well. All three win tonight, and we'll get into all that in just a minute. It's always nice, but tonight's Iowa win over Illinois has to be especially gratifying. Iowa's record goes to 10-0 with a 72-71 win over the Illini. Without Ronnie Lester, Iowa still played composed ball on the road. Vince Brookins hit the jumper to put Iowa up by nine. Eddie Johnson had a super second half. He finished with 22, all but two coming in the second half. Watch this one. Bob Hansen to Mark Gannon and underneath to Steve Crafterson for the stuff. And uh, Kevin Boyle had a new career high with 21 points. Kept things under control during that hectic finish. Mark Gannon played another good game, hitting right here for two of his 13 on the night. But nobody could stop Johnson. He had everything he threw up in the second half. Mark Smith also hit doubles with 12 for the Illini. 30 seconds left. Iowa leads by one. The Illini foul the, foul the wrong man in Kevin Boyle. It's both free throws, a three-point Iowa lead. But Johnson, again, a one-point lead. Illinois fouled Steve Crasserson, who rattled the cage on his first and only throw, but made up for it on the other end of the floor, making what turned out to be the game-saving block. Watch it. Inside, slapped it away. Six seconds left. Illinois tries Rob Judson, who misses. Out to Kevin Bontemps. He'll try it. He misses. Iowa wins a hectic one, 72-71. For Iowa State, the victory...